Today's video, we're going to be covering how I catch crappie 365 days of the year. No matter if they're in the spawn, the pre-spawn, the post-spawn, the uh, summer transition, fall transition, or they're in their wintertime pattern. If you hit enough of these areas that I'm going to show you how you can do in the comfort of your home to find these areas and eliminate a lot of water before you even set foot in your boat. So y'all stay tuned. You don't want to miss this. This, I kind of want to explain how to get to where you can find this stuff from your house. You know, 99% of people have a smartphone. You can do this easily on your phone at home. Or if you have a laptop or a desktop computer, you can get on your computer also. Now what you want to do, you want to go to Google. You want to type in Navionics. Now this is going to bring up a map. You want to find your local lake, the one that you want to go fish or whatever. And you want to zoom in on this lake. And what you're going to find is a bunch of lines. And these are what you call contour lines. And basically contour lines are depth lines. You know, just to kind of dumb it down, every number you see is a depth in that certain spot on the lake. Um, some lines are closer together, some, some lines are further apart. You know, the further apart one's kind of like a flat, and the closer to, together is kind of like a ledge or a drop-off. Now, what you find in the middle is either your creek channel or your river channel. You can zoom out the map and kind of find your river channel on any lake. And you just kind of want to follow that channel until you get to you know your favorite creek or whatever now if that channel swings into a bank you know hold on to that little area we're going to get there in just a minute now you know pick your favorite creek on your map and go and follow your creek channel and eventually this creek channel is going to make a swing now either a it's going to swing into a point or b it's going to swing directly into a bank and that's the ones you want to focus on now an easy way to find this while you're out on the water is to actually just look at the bank itself most creek channel swings you're going to have a really flat part on one side of the bank and then you're going to have a vertical kind of a drop on the other side of the bank now normally that's where the creek channel is the closest because in any given cove that i've ever seen the creek channel is going to be the deepest part of your cove. Now, when talking about crappy, I love deep water. If you watch any of my videos, I mean, 95% of my videos, the bank behind me looks like a drop off because that's the areas that I'm about to explain in this video. Now, we're not going to be showing the area, so don't get your don't don't get your hopes up for that one. <laughs> We're actually going to be going on Lake Hartwell and the images you see behind me are actually banks on Lake Hartwell that I probably will be checking out in the future. So you've got your favorite lake pulled up. You know, you, you found your creek channel, you found your river channel, whatever, the, whichever one you want to follow. Now you follow this until it gets as close to the bank as possible. And what this is, what i call them are channel swings and basically what a channel swing is is there's something under the water that the creek ran against and it's kind of like if you went through the woods and there was a deer path that was easier to walk through you would go to the right and walk that deer path instead of going through the briars on the left so the creek channel swings to get around something under the water you know that might not be 100% true, but that's what I believe happens. And when this channel swings against this bank, eventually it's going to erode the bank down and make a deep drop off or a ledge. <coughs> now, when we're talking about ledges or deep drop offs, we're talking about prime, prime crappy locations all year long. I don't care if it's winter time, summer time, spawn time, all year long. So let me explain why that is. If you can find these key areas like the ones I've shown you behind me on the map. When the fish go to spawn. Well actually let's back it up just a little bit more. We've got pre-spawn. It's January while I'm making this video. So pre-spawn is coming up. Pre-spawn 
these fish are going to follow the creek channel eating as many minnows, toughies, shad as they can. And they're going to follow this creek channel, follow, follow, follow. And what's going to happen? These fish are coming from the main lake. They're going to stop on the channel swing. Why? Because like me and most anglers, we're going to drop brush piles on these channel swings. Or there's a nice juicy dock right on the tip of that channel swing. And that's going to provide cover. Now, if you can find a channel swing with laydowns, even better. You've got natural cover just sitting there waiting on you. And you can go pluck you a bunch of chickens off of it. It's like using self-checkout at Walmart. All year long. Now, I'm not saying every single channel swing is going to have fish on it 24-7. Do not take that as what I'm saying. It may take you five or six channel swings to actually find some fish. Now, if you have forward-facing sonar, any channel swing you find, I'm sure you can pick off one or two fish. There, there's fish on them all year long. Are there times a year that there is more fish on these channel swings? Absolutely, and that would be in the summertime because it's deeper water, and in the wintertime because it's deeper water. So these are prime areas right now. If you're, you know, watch, like, go find one and go catch you some real quick, and then come back to the video. No, I'm kidding. Stay around, hit the like button, subscribe down below. So, anyways, you got pre-spawn. They're following this creek channel. They're going to stop here, hang out on this brush pile, or under this dock on this lay down. They're going to feed up and keep moving down the creek. All fish do not spawn at the same time. Let me repeat. All fish don't spawn at the same time. And why is that so important? Because you've got pre-spawn fish, you've got spawn fish, and you've got post-spawn fish. Pre-spawn fish are going to come through this creek channel. They're going to stop on your, your channel swing. They're going to hang out on your brush, feed up. They're going to go spawn. They're going to keep going down the creek, go spawn. You know, you could either hang out on your brush pile or you can go down there and try to catch the ones that you were catching last week. All right, then you've got your spawning fish. Your spawning fish are going to spawn. And while they're spawning, you've got more pre-spawn fish coming into your brush pile. These spawning fish are going to come back out and become post-spawn fish. Post-spawn fish are going to hang out at your brush pile with pre-spawn fish. Those pre-spawn fish are going to go spawn. And it's just going to rinse and repeat until the summertime. And in the summertime, they're going to hang out at their brush pile because it's deeper water. Fall transition. You're going to have some come from the main lake to come up there and eat shad. You're going to have some come from the creek to come up there and eat shad. You're going to have some following the creek to eat shad. And they're going to stop and hang out on your brush pile or your dock. That's why you can catch them 365 days of the year. Because no matter the transition, they're going to be hanging out in that deeper water. Because it's close to the bank. If it's cold, they can pull up to five or six feet and suspend near the rocks. If it's a cloudy day, they can roam around this creek and still have access to deep water. If it's a sunny day, they're able to go down and suspend a lot deeper to be in the shade or whatever. Or if you have a dock, they'll be tucked under right up under that dock. <coughs> now, are there better banks in the lake than others? Absolutely. If you have a channel swing that has you know trees that's fallen over those are amazing amazing spots and hold a lot of big fish because they're really hard to catch there because you get hung up so much it's not an angler's fault it's you get hung up a lot the ones with docks 80 percent of my videos i am on a channel swing fishing a dock because that is my confidence. I love a dock on a channel swing. And you you catch so many under one dock. It is unbelievable the amount of fish you can catch on a dock 
on a channel swing, especially a river channel. If you have a, a river channel that has some current to it and you find a swing that has a dock and you put on a 164 ounce jig head and you let that current wash it up under that dock, man, you just got to hold on. So that's basically how I break down a lake before I even get in my vehicle and go out there and catch them. You get on avionics, you find the creeks, you find the rivers, you follow this, you find the swings, and you find some fish. You know, side scan, down scan, no scan. You can use your eyes and look at the bank and just fish. And eventually, you're going to catch you a big old slab. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We got a lot of content coming out this year, so y'all better be subscribed. Don't miss it. I'm trying to teach the world how to crappy fish. That's my goal. I figured it out, guys. That is my goal. I want to teach the world to be a better angler. And for all my live scope users, we're going to teach Randy Ball Nick that live scope is all right.